again joining me at Tanner's Lane. Can't fault the fishing here, we catching loads of fish and I uh, really enjoyed that barbecue uh, bream so uh, I'm gonna go try and catch some more bream today but I would like an Angela Ray and I know you can catch them here if you go further on the deeper in the channel so uh, I'm gonna give that a go. But yeah, species today I want to target Angela Ray or any type of Ray, bream, uh, there's probably be hounds out there and there's the odd chance I could catch a stingray as well but yeah let's let's go catch some fish but I wouldn't mind catching some fish to eat that's kind of the aim today but yeah another standing day of Tanner's Lane it's not as warm today it's not 27 degrees like it was last time but um, it's another stunning day look at that mental it's low tide now and we're gonna fish the tide up and then tie down again and um, yeah hopefully there's some fish out there today because I've had some off days here before so you never know but it's the lowest of the low at the moment tide wise As you can see we have to drag the kayaks all up this beach and I'm joined by the uh, Sussex lads today there's quite a few guys who've come up from Sussex yeah, hopefully they catch as well. Should be a good day for them. Let's get on the water. Anchored up now. Let's just paddle about say three quarters of okay, about 800 meters, I reckon, directly straight out from the um, Tanner's Lane uh, car park. Straight out, and you'll see a yellow boy as you'll be able to see it on here. The yellow boy there, seen. Just near the yellow boy. Target today is is rays. I would like to catch some rays, but I'd also like to catch some bream to eat. So 
those are the two things I'm after today. If the hounds are still here, I'm probably going to get pestered by the hounds. And there's also a slight chance I might, might also catch a, a stingray today. So, yeah, should be a good day. The, uh, the tide's definitely flowing uh, quite, quite hard. Actually, quite hard at the moment. I'm actually just moving about. The tide's definitely running, which is normally a good time to fish here. I find when the uh, tide's running, that's when I get most of my bites. So, uh, yeah, let's talk about bait. So, dug some of this lovely stuff again, some lug. And then, I also managed to get some sort of harbour rag. It's not the best rag in the world, it's just sort of a small harbour rag that you know, almost falls apart. But, that'd be good to just nip off from the hooks to catch things like bream. So, I've got about a pound of lug there. And then, the lovely gentleman on the beach who's out fishing with me today. Um, there are plenty of crabs, I forgot to get crabs yesterday and I didn't really want to go for hounds so I didn't really bother but I've got, uh, got some hardback crabs just in case just in case I run out of bait and I fancy a few hounds but the main bait I brought today so I've got mackerel for the rays calamari as well so I brought some squid which should also be good for the bream so yeah got plenty of this I've got lugworm harbour rag mackerel squid and then uh, some hardback crabs yeah let's get some baits out and hopefully there's some fish about today because it's another lovely day flying calm sun's up blue skies amazing absolutely amazing got five or six of the kayakers joining me today a lot of the sussex boys are down so hopefully they have a good day i think one of the lads has driven all the way from norfolk so that's quite a long drive to go in a day so hopefully he he gets his target species and what he's after yeah lovely lovely day this is what it's all about Start a little squid like that. Days. So that's both both baits out. I've just put squid out for now on both of them. You can catch bream, smooth out, rays, um, all sorts on it. So I got plenty of squid today. I've got two boxes. So I'm gonna start with squid, and then later on I might progress to lug. I'm gonna change hooks over if I got a lug and go a bit smaller. But this tide is proper rushing right now. I'll show you. As you can see, the tide is rushing hard at the minute. A um, little bit more than usual, but hasn't got to that scary level yet. Because obviously it's flat and calm. It's not bumpy. It's not windy. Um, it's just the tide's rushing. Um, anchor's holding, which is good. So I'm not slipping anchor and flying down. I've got a marker. I've got the yellow boy I'm using as a marker to sort of like line myself up. If I start noticing that disappearing behind me, then I know my anchor's slipped and I'm, and I'm moving that way. At the moment it's holding and it's all good. And potentially could have a bite ready. First inquiry into the breakfast menu of squid. 
What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? I reckon dogfish. I reckon dogfish. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Dogfish! First fish of the day, dogfish. So I had an had a feeling just by the way it was fighting. Oh, sometimes dogfish. Massage it on the hook. Come on. Come on. There we go. So I'm chucking lug on now. I've just changed the hook size. So I've got a little 1-0 on there. Putting some lug on. And this is just going to go for that. See if there's any bream about. Cool. So I'm always chopping and changing my setups just to see what works. Um, on my left rod, I'm going to stick with a 4.0 uh, and whole squid for the rays, uh, you know, rays, uh, smooth downs, and so on. And on the right rod, I've switched to lug worms. I've got two different types of baits out now. Um, and on that one, I've just changed it to a smaller hook size so that if a uh, bream does come along and, and grabs it, the hook's Sort of small enough to fit in its mouth and then uh, strong enough that I could actually you know pull in a pull in a smooth arm so yeah see how see how that combo works if, if I decide I want to change it I can just change it later on I think we're in for a cracking day because I really had a dogfish my line I literally just thrown it out and it's already going really getting bites so could have a bream one already Right, let's get back to the action. First bream of the session! <laughs> right then. One of my targets today, Breen. Lovely black Breen there. Mm, mm, mm. Look at the colours on that. That's dinner. Dinner. I think we have a hound. <laughs> we definitely have a hound. Wow. And obviously in this tide it is strong as hell. Oh, come on. I don't know. I don't know. It's not fighting like a hound. It's not fighting like a hound at all. It's a hound. It's a hound. So hard fighting these in the tide, man. Little 1-0 hook, 
<laughs> there we have it. Another lovely hound. <laughs> never get sick of never get sick of catching these. Gotta whip me in the face. It's not happening, fella. And there you have it. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful hound. First hound of the session. Nice one he was. Pretty decent size up. And yeah, my theory of uh, smaller hooks, I mean that's a 1-0, it's tiny. Still managed to catch a big hand on that, so I'm going to stick to this hook size I think because that way I can uh, capitalise and catch both bream and smooth hands at the same time. But yeah, I've had a bream, I've had a dogfish and I've had a hound. I've only been here 30 minutes cracking already and the tide's still rushing hard so I'm gonna chuck some more leg out and uh, hopefully some big bream today I'd love to catch one of those big gilt heads that'd be nice so what I'm doing is I'm just chucking on about two or three lug and then I'm tipping it off with squid And just tipping off the squid like that. There we have it. Come on, gilt heads. Where are ya? I know they're out there. I mean, how is that screaming real, man? Crazy. Obviously, they're hard fighting fish as it is, but when uh, when the tide's rushing like this, and then you get to catch a hound, and it's using the tide with it, oh, it's just like. Mm. That's why I enjoy catching them. I never get sick of catching hounds because they are literally one of the best fighting fish you can catch in a kayak. When you sat this low on the water and you hook into a decent hound, it is it is good fun. It's definitely good fun. You never get sick of it. There's my next setup. Check that out. The lovely hound. <laughs> There's plenty about. Got here. Maybe hound. <laughs> Baby 
baby, how? Well, not the biggest, but <laughs> little hound. What's it gonna be? A lot of head shakes, I reckon, baby hound. What's it gonna be, baby hound? Yeah, small, smooth hound. Baby one. Let's put you back. Well, oh. they are getting smaller. They are getting smaller. Something on here. What's it gonna be? I reckon hound. Loads of hounds at the moment. Move on. Came here for rays. I got a little thorny on. but that's my two target species today so I've had a ray and I've had a bream so there we have it nice little male form back beauty
lovely little thorn back row. Right. Put him back. I reckon this one's gonna shoot off. As soon as I let go. And he's off. Nice one. Ticking the box. See if we can get some bigger ones. <laughs> yeah boy Check this bad boy out I put bass back, but honestly I normally do, you've seen in all my videos, I always put them back, but this is a lovely sized bass. Must have made good eating this. You're allowed one. You're allowed one. Well, came out here in search of rays and bream, ended up catching this bad boy. Lovely, lovely bass. Beautiful fish. Proper hunter. Check him out. Big fish. Big old tail on him.
to know if I get a big gilt head. I can still bring it in. Seriously unpleasant, so uh, I'm gonna call it a day there. I've had a good day. Hope you can hear me. I know it's really windy. I've had plenty of hounds. I've had nice little form back array. I've had uh, black bream, had plenty of dogfish, I had that really nice bass. Uh, yeah, that was it. Cracking, another cracking day off Tanner's Lane. That's why I keep coming here. Um, I think next time. If the weather's right, I'm going to probably hit Swanage and start targeting things like grass. Um, I want to spend more time in Selzy and try and get some big undulate rays. Um, but yeah, I want to call it a day there. Hopefully you can hear me and uh, head back in. And, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, lifting this anchor up is going to be uh, interesting. Good luck. Tie lines. See you later. See you later, mate. Good luck. Nice 